Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another GTA 5 tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install LSPDFR slash play as a cop mod, so let's get straight into it, also make sure you guys like, subscribe and turn on post notifications on if you're new, alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the LSPDFR website, so you just go to your browser, search LSPDFR, and then it will take you to the their homepage. You then want to press GTA 5 Mods LSPDFR, and the latest version will be down here. It will say download this file, and if you guys want to read all of this, uh, be my guest, but yeah. It also, these are all the files that are going to be in there. So yeah, let's download this. So, what we're first going to do is we're going to go all the way down and agree and download. Now, you guys can either choose manual or setup. Today, I'm only going to be doing setup because the manual is... Uh, you don't really need to do the manual since the setup is really easy. So, you press download. And now you just want to wait till it's in your downloads. So let's just wait a sec. Also, thank you to Sam and the other creators for making this mod. It's a really good mod. And yeah. If you guys are looking for a mod that is plays a cop and you are on PC this is the one for you okay so I'm gonna do keep show more keep anyway we're now gonna open the file you want to open the file and if your computer does come up with this you want to press show more and then run anyway it like I said now this won't break your game. This is this has no viruses. Um, it even says up here some antivirus software programs mark LSPDFR as a virus. This is a false, and this is false, guys, because I play LSPDFR all the time. So yeah, so you press I agree, and next. So this is where you want to put it wherever you've got your GTA. Mine's going to be um, Program Files, x60, uh, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Grand Theft Auto 5. You then press Install, and then you wait for that. So like I said, this won't give you a virus. And uh, also, do what it says down here. If you're installing LSPDFR for the first time, we strongly recommend that you do so on a clean copy of GTA 5 without any other mods or plugins. Obviously, I've got some mods, such as cars, but that's mostly it, and uh, I'll show you how to do those in later videos. So, you want to press finish. Now, once you've pressed finish, it will come up with, welcome to the LSPDFR configurator. You then want to press next. It will then say, Rage Plugin Hook Setup, please accept the Rage Plugin Hook license. So, you want to press show license. And now wait for that to load. Now this will come up. You want to press accept. And now this is this bit completely up to you. Now this is the change settings. We recommend disabling the version text rendering and setting all plugins to load at startup. So you can do show settings. Now you can always press do it for me. But you might not get the best out of it. So if you press show settings, it will come up with this. Now, your console key to bring up the uh, the main console uh, command, the command bit, is going to be F4. You can change that to whatever you want, but I recommend keeping it F4. Now your plug-in time threshold, that is actually seconds. That is in seconds. So that's 10 seconds. Plugins. Now, this is completely up to you. 
Now what I do is I do load these plugins and I only do LSPDFR on startup. Because one, it's much easier than loading a multiple at a time. And two, you don't get as much lag. Now, this bit is completely up to you. This is this is all just stuff that you can just leave alone. It doesn't really do anything to your game except from just have custom backgrounds. And the last thing is the game settings. Now, if you come over here, back up your game version. Always want you always want to back this up. Obviously, I'm not going to do it because I I know an easy way. There's a, there's an, there's an easier way to uh get rid of LSPDFR. So, once you've done this, you want to press save and close. And this will come up. The settings dialog can be shown again by starting Rage Plugin Hook, then immediately holding down the shift key until the dialog displays or by using the setting command line switch. Press OK. And now you just want to wait for this. Make it may take a couple seconds depending on uh, how good your PC is. Obviously mine's quite good, but it's just uh, quite slow right now. But they all uh, the link to the LSPDFR website will be in the description down below. All links are in the description of my videos. If you go to one of my videos and there isn't a link there, then comment down below and uh, I can just edit that in to the uh, description. Okay, so we just need to wait for this. So while you're doing that, uh, while you're on the uh, LSPDFR website, um, you can also have a look at all the other stuff they got. But yeah, I just want to say thank you to um, the people that made LSPDFR. Um, So yeah, um, so yeah, thanks to Sam for making this mod, uh, it's really good, and I recommend you check out some of his other, some of his other files that he's made, because, uh, it's, it's really good. Now, what I don't recommend is some of the plugins you guys can get by going to script and plugins because some of the plugins are going to be outdated and that is not a good thing just like uh stp stop the ped uh i had stopped the ped a couple uh i i, I downloaded it a couple times and um because it was outdated you wouldn't it wouldn't give you any other gun except from a pistol and a taser with a uh, red red dot like laser. So um, that's why SDP is uh, just the worst. But this website is not just being a cop. You've got become a security guard um, and stuff like that. You've also got stuff for 5M, simple roleplay commands, uh, support script. So ju just stuff like that. Um, so yeah, whenever your LSPDFR does end up being done, how you would launch that is by doing this. You want to go to your setting, uh, your, fol your folder, GTA directory, and end up going to Rage Plugin Hook. Now from there, you would double click that and it will automatically set the game up for you. Now, if your game crashes or doesn't load while it's on startup, what you guys will need to do is go to your Steam, if you, this is on Steam. If you've downloaded it on Steam, you need to go to Steam. And you will then need to go to Library. Press right on your mouse. Go to Properties. Go to local files and verify the integrity of your game. Because uh, otherwise, sometimes your GTA might crash or not load on startup. So, yeah. Once you've done that, it should work. 
But yeah. If there is any, there we go. So there you go. LSPDFR has been installed successfully. So after that, you can go ahead and run it. Um, I would go ahead and run it for you guys, but I don't know how laggy it's going to be. So yeah, once you guys have done that, just go ahead and run it, and yeah. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below what video you want to see next. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.